For centuries, humans have looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone? But that question is starting to feel outdated. Today, the real question isn't whether life exists somewhere out there, it's where is it hiding? The James Webb Space Telescope has been quietly rewriting our understanding of the universe, and what it's found is shaking the foundations of everything we thought we knew. From galaxies that shouldn't exist, to planets that may already be breathing with alien biology, to secrets buried within our very own solar system. What's being uncovered feels less like science fiction and more like reality catching up to our imagination. And the most shocking part? This might only be the beginning. Astronomers once believed the early universe was a quiet, chaotic soup. Too young, too messy, too unstable for anything complex to form. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope, and with it, the discovery of something that simply should not exist. Meet Galaxy MZ-14. The light from this galaxy has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach us meaning we're seeing it as it was only 280 million years after the Big Bang. Think about that. Just 280 million years after the universe itself was born, a fully formed galaxy was already shining. This discovery sent shockwaves through astronomy. According to our models, galaxies need billions of years to form. Stars are supposed to slowly cluster together, gradually sculpted by gravity until a galaxy emerges. But MZ-14 is fully assembled, luminous, and structured far too soon. How is this even possible? There are a few theories. Maybe the very first stars formed at an unbelievably fast rate, collapsing and igniting far quicker than expected. Maybe dark matter, that invisible scaffolding of the cosmos, pulled everything together far more efficiently than our models predict. Or maybe something even stranger, perhaps the physics of the early universe didn't behave the same way it does now. Was gravity stronger back then? Was time flowing differently in the first cosmic moments? Whatever the answer, MZ-14 challenges the very idea of how the universe builds itself. And if galaxies could form earlier than we ever thought possible, what else could have appeared earlier too? Perhaps even life. If galaxies forming too early wasn't enough, Webb's next discovery brought the question of life closer than ever before. About 120 light years away, circling a cool red dwarf star in the constellation Leo, lies a planet known as K218b. At first glance, it seemed unremarkable, just another super-Earth, larger than our own planet, orbiting within its star's so-called habitable zone. But Webb's instruments peered into its atmosphere and found something startling a chemical called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, there's only one source of DMS life. Specifically, it's produced by tiny ocean-dwelling microbes that release it as part of their survival process. It's the kind of gas you simply don't get from rocks, volcanoes, or storms. In fact, Earth's own DMS levels are faint compared to what Webb detected on K218. That means whatever is producing it out there could be far more abundant than our planet's microscopic life. Of course, scientists are cautious. Could there be another unknown chemical process creating DMS on a distant world? Possibly. But here's the catch. Every time we've studied this gas on Earth, it has always pointed to biology. Always. K-218b might be a water-rich world blanketed in thick clouds with endless oceans beneath. If DMS is really there, it could mean something is living, breathing, and even thriving in those alien seas right now. And if that's true, Webb may have just stumbled on the first real evidence that life in the universe isn't a rare miracle. It's a natural part of planetary chemistry. But that's not the only revelation hidden in its data. Because when Webb turned its eyes elsewhere, it found something even more unsettling. Another galaxy, that seemed to defy time itself. The James Webb Space Telescope wasn't supposed to see this. It was designed to look back to the dawn of time, to peer into the faint glow of the first stars. But instead, it found a galaxy that looks hauntingly familiar. Astronomers named it Julong, which means mighty dragon in Mandarin. And mighty it is. At first glance, Julung looks a lot like our own Milky Way, a classic spiral galaxy with arms gracefully winding around a central core. That's not unusual, except for one problem. 
Spiral galaxies weren't supposed to exist this early in the universe's history. Our models said it should take billions of years for galaxies to settle into such orderly shapes. Before that, the cosmos should have been filled with chaotic blobs of stars, messy and unstable. Yet here's Zhu Long, shining bright, organized, and balanced, at a time when such beauty shouldn't have been possible. This changes everything. If spiral galaxies were forming much earlier than we believed, then the environments needed to host solar systems and perhaps life were also forming earlier. Maybe civilizations could have risen and fallen long before our own world was even born. Each discovery was like a piece of a puzzle falling into place. And yet, instead of making the picture clearer, it only deepened the mystery. Webb wasn't just showing us the universe as it is, it was revealing a universe far stranger, far older, and far more alive than we ever imagined. But while these distant revelations are shocking, Webb also turned its gaze closer to home. And what it saw there, in the outer reaches of our own solar system, was just as mysterious. For all the wonder Webb has uncovered in galaxies billions of light years away, one of its most intriguing discoveries lies much closer to home within the icy frontier of our own solar system. Webb's deep scans of the Kuiper Belt, the vast region of frozen debris beyond Neptune, revealed something odd. Some of the icy objects out there weren't reflecting light in the way astronomers expected. Instead, they seemed darker, as though coated in an unusual substance. And when Webb analyzed the faint chemical fingerprints bouncing off them, one possibility emerged. Complex organic molecules. On Earth, these same molecules are the raw ingredients of life. Carbon chains, hydrocarbons, building blocks of amino acids, but finding them drifting on the surface of frozen, airless rocks at the edge of our solar system raises a haunting question. Were these chemicals delivered to Earth billions of years ago, seeding our own beginnings? Or are they leftovers from an ancient, cosmic biology that once thrived out here, long before our planet even formed? Even more mysterious, some astronomers now suspect that these unusual orbits and chemical signatures may be hints of something bigger, hiding in the dark and unseen planet, a planet nine, whose gravity tugs at these frozen worlds. If such a planet exists, could it too harbor an atmosphere? Maybe even life? For the first time, Webb may be giving us indirect clues that something massive and potentially alive could be lurking in our own cosmic backyard. But the Kuiper Belt isn't the only place Webb has turned up surprises. It also peered into the thick golden haze of Titan. Saturn's largest moon. Titan has long fascinated scientists, after all. It's the only other world in the solar system with stable liquids on its surface. Not water, but lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane, shimmering under a sky shrouded in orange clouds. Webb pierced through that haze and saw something startling. Beneath Titan's atmosphere, its clouds were shifting in strange, seasonal patterns and the chemistry was more complex than ever imagined. The telescope detected molecules that, on Earth, play critical roles in the chemistry of life. To put it simply, Titan's chemistry looks eerily familiar. Some scientists now believe Titan may host a second genesis of life, a form of biology completely independent from Earth's. Life that doesn't rely on water at all, but instead thrives in liquid methane. If true, that would mean life isn't just possible under Earth-like conditions. It could arise in radically alien environments, rewriting our definition of what it even means to be alive. And here's the chilling part. If life can exist in the cold, liquid methane seas of Titan, then it could exist almost anywhere on rogue planets drifting through interstellar space, on exoplanets cloaked in ice, or even in the subsurface oceans of moons across the galaxy. Piece by piece, Webb's discoveries form a picture that is as breathtaking as it is unsettling. Galaxies like MZ14 and Zhulong show us that the universe matured much faster than we believed. Planets like K218b hint that alien biology may already exist within reach of our telescopes. Organic molecules on Kuiper Belt objects suggest the seeds of life are scattered everywhere, and Titan shows us that life may not need Earth-like conditions at all. Put all of this together, and the conclusion becomes inescapable. 
the universe doesn't just allow life. It wants life. Life may be the rule, not the exception, but that raises a terrifying possibility. If the conditions for life were present so early, in so many places, then civilizations may have risen and fallen long before ours. There could have been entire galaxies teeming with life while Earth was still molten rock. Perhaps the cosmos is haunted not by the absence of life, but by its ghosts extinct civilizations, ruined worlds, or species that evolved so far beyond us that they are now unrecognizable. In all this vastness, Webb has not yet shown us anyone. No signals, no cities, no signs of intelligence, just the quiet hum of biology, hidden in chemistry and starlight, which leaves us with an unsettling thought. What if life is common, but intelligence is rare? What if civilizations like ours burn bright for only a moment before vanishing, leaving behind nothing but chemical traces in the sky? If that's true, then Webb may not just be revealing the story of life, it may be showing us our future. And yet, the deeper Webb looks, the more it reminds us of our own fragility. If civilizations did rise before us, where are they now? Did they collapse? Did they leave? Or are they still out there, hidden, watching? Every image Webb sends back is more than just science, it's a mirror. A reminder that we are part of something vast, ancient, and still unfolding. Perhaps one day, we'll find undeniable proof that we are not alone. Or perhaps we'll discover something even stranger, that in a universe filled with life, intelligence itself may be the rarest thing of all. Until then, Webb continues to stare into the darkness, and the darkness stares back.